Hey folks, Engineer775 here. I wanted to tell you about the Heritage Life Skills 2. It is a, it's kind of a conference or an expo, but it, it's, it's different in that you're going to actually, there's so many workshops, you actually have hands-on time to learn some valuable skills for, for preparedness. And it's going to be uh, May 17th through the 19th at Haywood County Fairgrounds. This is again being sponsored by Carolina Readiness. Both um, Bill and Jan and the crew have been working really hard. They always are working hard, but um, they do a great job of putting on a conference. And this will be the second annual. Um, I'll be there. Uh, my my portion will be on Saturday from one to five. I'm going to be uh, talking about gasification. So if you're around, you want to come check it out. Um, I'm sitting in my Jeep that I'm going to have running off of wood. At least I better have. That's what I'm working on today. And I've got a couple weeks to get it going, but um, and I'll show you some of the things I'm working on. Um, I'm going to have a couple of options there in terms of gasifiers, I hope. Uh, some smaller gasifiers, and then of course I'll have the Victory Gas Works uh, larger gasifier, but uh, um, there'll be some surprises. Come out and check it out. And, um, you know, I have found after doing this for three years with gasification, sometimes you just want to run some small engines, generators, and things and uh, we'll, we'll have that option for you and plus kind of you know hopefully answer all your questions on how to modify an engine how to build a carburetor um, you know different ways and things that you can hook up to to run you can run so many different things off of wood gas that you might not realize so I won't be able to bring every piece of equipment that can run so I'm gonna have the Jeep running if you can run one gas engine, you pretty much can run them all if you have uh, a carburetor. I'll go into those details um, at, the, at the fairgrounds on Saturday, May 18th. Also, I'd like to say my wife is also going to be speaking on our Practical Preppers Pharmacy and uh, letting people know that we have a pharmacy that works for preparedness and for life-sustaining medications, and she's an expert in that. And, uh, and so she'll be uh, sharing a speaking time there, I believe, with Richard Walsh. Uh, Mr. Mad Mick on Mad, Mr. Mad Mick 15 on, on uh, YouTube, and I guess they're gonna they're gonna share that time. So come on out, ask questions. I know some of you have already registered for the gasification thing. That's great, but there's so many other courses being offered. It's phenomenal. I, I mean, I'm kind of jealous. I want to I want to uh, partake in those myself, but I don't have time. So let me show you a few things. Just a sneak preview. Um, gasifying a vehicle like a like a Jeep. And then uh, I hope to see you May 18th at the Haywood County Fairgrounds for the second annual Heritage Life Skills event. This is Engineer 775 signing off. Well, I sure hope we have a nicer day. Um, I just covered up the gasifier. This is a stainless steel unit. I just didn't want to have to deal with the water, so I covered her up. So anyway, I'm putting it, what I'm going to do, this is a little different than I've done before. I'm going to put the, I have put the gasifier in a trailer. And I'm going to run the wood gas under the Jeep, and I come up in the Jeep. I've also uh, made a few controls, just simple adjusting of the airflow mixture, of the uh, actual mixture. Let's see if I can do this without shaking the camera too much. And hard to see here, but I've, um, I'm bringing the wood gas up this side of the Jeep. Made a, a couple of things, added a few valves and filters and controls and then adapted it to the carburetor. You can see this uh, at the uh, at the gasification uh, demonstration and we'll be running this baby off of wood. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, white oak this time. Uh, have been doing some hickory but this is just gonna be uh, uh, running off of white oak. We'll explain the process of how the wood is transformed into hydrogen and carbon monoxide and then cooled, filtered, and brought to an engine and what you need to do to prep that engine to run off of wood gas. Very good for stationary applications. Um, obviously this isn't a stationary application, I'm running the Jeep. But this Jeep motor is the same, engine's the same size as my generator, so she should work. She hasn't run yet, so I gotta get to work and make sure she runs for the, for the uh, fairground, for the Heritage Life Skills. And I'm probably only going to bring the Jeep and the gasifier because we're going to have a couple other smaller gasifiers that I think might be of uh, uh, you know serious interest to you if you want to um, maybe have your own gasifier to charge batteries, run a small generator, and uh, we'll be talking about that. So look forward to showing you those. Those are going to be a surprise. So come on out and say hello and uh, 
Look forward to talking to you about gasification. Engineer 775 signing off again.